Hello, race fans. I'm Wiley Wade, and this is Wiley's Race Report. Hello, race fans. I'm Wiley Wade, and this is Wiley's Race Report for Saturday night, June 27, 2020. And this past weekend, we had some great racing action, including in the wingless sprint cars, the dwarf cars, the hobby stocks, and the four bangers. We'll talk about that in a minute. But first, I want to talk about this upcoming weekend because we got a double header coming up. That's right, Friday night, uh, the 3rd of July, 2020, and Saturday night, the 4th of July, 2020. We are going racing at Antioch Speedway. We are going to have the Hobby Socks. We're going to have the IMCA Sport Modifieds. And we'll have the IMCA Modifieds all in action this Friday and Saturday night at Antioch Speedway. Now, unfortunately, we can't have you there yet because of the whole COVID-19 thing still. But you can watch all the action on flowracing.com or speedshifttv.com. Both those sites will have the action again Friday night and Saturday night. Of course, Saturday night is the Big Kahuna George Stites Freedom Series race number two, brought to you by the Sites family and Sites Towing. And that's going to be on Saturday night. $1,500 to win for the IMCA Modifieds. You don't want to miss all the action. Again, it's going to be on flowracing.com and speedshifttv.com. So a rule update for the hobby stock starting this weekend. Just remember, uh, hobby stock drivers you are required to run the g60 tires starting this weekend the third and fourth of july the g60 tires are required starting this weekend the third and fourth of july so this past weekend we had the four bangers in action chris quarter he has batted a thousand for the year the first race he won both the heat race and the main event and this past saturday chris quarter out of modesto california driving a 2000 chevy cavalier took home both the heat win and the main event win now, I'm really wanting to stress to you that if you're looking to get into racing, the Four Banger Division is a great place to start. It is, uh, for racing-wise, inexpensive, and you have a lot of fun with them. Um, those of you over in Petaluma area, I know that uh, that track over there is not running the Four Bangers anymore. Come on over on Saturday nights when we have the Four Banger Division at Antioch. And also the Central Valley, we are, our rules are in line that you guys can come up and join us as well. Really pushing this, uh, just brought this division back and really want to see this class grow because it's a great entry class for racing on dirt tracks. In the Hobby Stock Division, Jason Robles took home the win. That car was uh, on a rail on Saturday night uh, out of Rio Vista, California is where Jason's from. Great job, Jason, for taking home Saturday night's win. The wingless sprint cars, Terry Shank Jr. took home his first win at Antioch Speedway. He said uh, in the Victory Lane interview that he's been racing for many years. First time he's been able to take home a win at Antioch. So congratulations, Terry Shank Jr. Driving the one car in the wingless sprint car series. Now that leaves the dwarf cars and Captain Chaos, Danny Wagner, swept the night. Uh, he won heat race number two. He won the main event uh, pulling away. He was not challenged much. He just was hooked up on Saturday night. And I had the opportunity to talk to him before the event. And we got to talk about a few topics. But also, in our discussion, we talked about the upcoming Delta Dwarf Car Regional event that's coming up on July 17th and 18th here at Antioch Speedway. So, anyway, here's our conversation. So, here with Captain Chaos, Danny Wagner, who's got... Man, you got a fleet of cars sitting here. Yeah, quite a few. It's growing year by year. So last year you ran the, the sprint car, you ran the dwarf car, you ran the modified, and this year you're concentrating more on the dwarf car. So tell what's going on with that. Uh, yeah, we're kind of concentrating on the dwarf car. We're still we're going to be toying with the modified later in the year in the sprint car. Um, but right now it's just with the whole COVID thing started, we just decided to focus on the dwarf cars more and uh, try to get this Delta dwarf car club off the ground here at Antioch. Yeah, as I say, there's a lot of numbers around here with double D on them. So that's a, that is your club, the Delta Dwarf Cars. Yeah, so we started a Western States Dwarf Car Club, Delta Dwarf Cars, at Antioch. It was one of the last tracks to transition over to Western States Dwarf Cars. And uh, so we're just trying to get that rolling. So the double D is Delta Dwarf Cars, and you'll see a lot of other letters pop in and out. That's some of the other clubs that will come and join us here and there. 
And coming up in less than a month, you have a big event coming up. Yeah, we have a two-day Western States regional race uh, held by Delta Dwarf Cars here July 17th and 18th. How many cars are you expecting? Our hope in 60, 70. So that's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of, uh, as I call them, bumblebees, the way they sound. Yeah, it should be a lot of fun, two nights of racing. So with the Delta Dwarf Cars, you guys have your own special rules. Do you, do you follow the Western States? How do you do the rules? Yeah, so we're a uh, Western States club, so we Western States rule book. Um, we go by all their rules, um, so it's already been established for us. And we're with every other track pretty much across the country is Western States rules. So anybody that wants to come pay, pay us a visit can come on out? Yeah, so anybody from any track that has a dwarf car that 99% of the tracks are Western States, so we meet the same rules, so anybody can come join any weekend. And just to uh, let everybody know, tonight we have a driver here from Hawaii and another one here from Michigan, so a couple cars from a long ways away yeah. coming out to check out the track. Yep, there's a couple people from a long ways. So with, uh, with all your toys here, you got to have some way to put them on a the track. Who helps you put these things on the racetrack? Uh, it's a lot of people. Myself with Wagner Racing, uh, we do a lot of work with a lot of people's cars, try to help a lot of people. Um, and then we have A&J Hauling. It's a huge sponsor. Uh, Contra Costa Diesel, R&D Motorsports. Those are some of the people, all my family, crew. There's a lot of people that go, go into it. One of the people that is always a threat to win when he's on a, ra a racetrack, whether he's driving a dwarf car, a modified, or even a sprint car, Captain Chaos Danny Wagner, thank you very much and good luck tonight. Thank you. So that was Captain Chaos Danny Wagner. That was my conversation with him uh, Saturday night before all the festivities and his dominating win in the Delta Dwarf Car main event at Antioch Speedway. Don't forget, this upcoming weekend is a doubleheader weekend, July 3rd and 4th. The Hobby Stocks, the IMCA Sport Modifieds, and the IMC Modifieds with the George Stites Memorial Race, the Big Kahuna George Stites Memorial Race, number two on Saturday. It is a three-race series, Memorial Weekend, Fourth of July Weekend, and Labor Day Weekend. So this is two of the three. Coming up on Saturday night, you can see all the action on flowracing.com and on speedshifttv.com. Flow Racing is F-L-O-R-A-C-I-N-G.com. And speedshifttv.com where we've been flow racing has purchased speedshift tv so that is why that is now on two different spots that's going to do it for this episode of wiley's race report until this weekend and next week stay safe have a great fourth of july weekend i'm wiley way and until next time goodbye everybody do it for this episode of this is not speedshift tv three before his dominating win on Saturday night at any three, two.